Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Friday, so that means that it is uh, the day that I reveal my first project from the yarn swap challenge swap yarn challenge swap <laughs> that I'm doing with Terry from Yarn Joy Podcast. So last Friday, I opened the first package and showed you the yarns that I got, and then I had from then to now to make a project, and then I'm gonna share it with you in just a second, and then I'll be opening my second package, which is right here. Um. And then Terry's also going to be doing the same thing on her channel, so I'll leave her link below. Uh, she usually gets her videos put out later in the day, though. So her video may not be up when mine is, but it will be up at some point. <laughs> Unless something's going on with her. But anyway, anyways, it'll be on her channel, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so last week, I opened the bag, and in it was uh, some safety eyes. A little keychain claspy thing. And these yarns, plus a lot pink yarn. I did use all the lot pink yarn. But this is the leftover yarn that I have. This was kind of a big ball, so I'll have to find, you know, put this in my stash and use it for something. But it's this blue-gray color, a uh, light gray, a darker-ish pink, and then there was like a lot uh, red heart pink. So that's right there. So when I first opened it, I immediately, after I thought about it for a second, <laughs> I guess that's not immediately then, um, when I showed you the video, I like I had the idea in my head. And it's kind of funny because I've been wanting to make one of these anyways for a while. <laughs> I think I've actually mentioned it too. Um... So I went ahead and made it. I made a keychain, I guess a backpack buddy or whatever. Um, and I didn't use a pattern. I used my own pattern. I did use uh, all four of the yarns. One of them I only used a little tiny bit of though. Um, but I did incorporate it. And I used an e-hook, which is a 3.5 millimeter. And this is what I made. Ta-da! <laughs> I made a little ballerina mouse keychain. I'm, I have no idea how you attach these. So I just kind of did it roughly, but I will do it better uh, later. <laughs> That's just how I did it now because I have no idea how to do that. <laughs> but uh, isn't it cute? So yeah, I didn't uh, use a pattern. I just came up with it while watching TV one day. And this is its tail. <laughs> and uh, I think it's cute. So um, I used the light pink for the dress. The leotard, whatever it's called. The dark pink for the ears, the inner ears. Uh, the light gray for the whole body, and then I used the, the blue gray for the tip of the nose. <laughs> I'll use it a little bit, but I incorporated it. And then I used the safety eyes and the clasp right there. I'm just not good at I don't know how to attach those right way. I know Terry did a video about that. I need to go watch that. <laughs> uh, I think it'd be better with a little chain. I'm going to have to get a little chain to connect to the mouse and to this. But uh, I think it's normal. It's made in a few pieces. I started with the body, the pink body. And the tutu is attached. It's like... Um, you know, it's crocheted in there. It wasn't a part that I sewed on. And then I, I went up and I made the the head and the body is one big piece. Like a peanut shape, kind of. And then uh, the legs and arms are just like chains. And then I single crocheted back into them. And then I just sewed them on. And the ears are separate from the body. I just made two gray circles. And then I made two pink circles. And I actually hot glued them on there. Because I didn't want to carefully sew it to where the pink wouldn't be showing through the back of the ear. So I just hot glued it. Uh, and then I sewed them on there, on the head, and uh, the little muzzle I made separately. I just made a little tiny triangle, and then I sewed it on there very carefully, and then I stitched on the little tip of the nose, and uh, I think it's adorable. <laughs> I think it did pretty good, but it's just a little ballerina uh, keychain that I'm probably going to keep because it's cute, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think it's cute. So that was my first challenge, and I did have a little bit of leftover yarn that I'll just be going into my scrap ball container. It's a tote like this, but in the living room. <laughs> and I'll pull it out and use it for scrap projects or something eventually. So woohoo! That's my first one. <laughs> so like I said, I will link Terry's video down below so you can go check her or her channel because I don't know if her video is out yet. Uh, the last time I checked today, it wasn't, but it's, it's right now it's like four-ish in the afternoon and I know her videos usually do come out later in the day. So here's my next package. I'm going to open it for next week's project. There. Okay. I'm just gonna dump it out here on the floor. <laughs> Looks like there's two balls around in here. Alright. Okay, so there are two balls. There's a brown and a green with uh, like a metallic green through it. And then for the accessories, oh, I can't see that. There's a jingle bell. <laughs> And like a beaded, um, like a chain or something, you know, like you would, it's, it looks like it's a little piece of garland or something, maybe. 
it's a plastic beaded but it can be used for many things and then there's a jingle bell <laughs> so this will be my next something i'll have to make something with these i might have to think about this for a minute i kind of have an idea but i don't know if there's enough brown hmm. i don't know i'll have to uh, and we can add yarns if we need it like if i want to use a different color to, to, to add to these two um so i will think about it i have to think about it hmm <laughs> the jingle bell is easy because you know you can make something with a hat or something but oop, I just threw it this thing is kind of confusing hmm. could be a necklace I guess or a reins or maybe like a reindeer or something I don't know I have to come back next Friday I don't even know what next Friday is what is today today's the 9th 16th it's next Friday the 16th <laughs> I think it is I think today's the 9th I don't even know Whatever next Friday is, tune back in. And hopefully I'll have had made something with it. So I'm going to put this back in that little bag so I don't lose the Jingle Bell. I have a bunch of Jingle Bells, but they're smaller than that one. So yeah. Hmm. Let me know what you think I should make. And then we'll see. I kind of have an idea, though. I, I might try to make. I might see if I can make what I want to make out of it. But we'll see. <laughs> but anyways, head over to Terry's channel and see what she made for her first um, little project. And uh, I can't wait to see what she came up with. She comes up with some of the neatest little things. She did this uh, same challenge before, uh, I think last year, with Valerie from Valerie's Killer Cat Creations. I think it's now. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cute, though. I have, I don't, I had this, like I said, it's not a pattern, so I don't know if I'll ever write it up. If I do, I'll probably change the arms and legs, because I don't like how they're, like, so curly. But, whatever. It's still adorable. <laughs> so, I'll leave all those links down below, and... I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.